Hey guys, Sam here from Roadrunner Sports and today we've got a very special run test review. We are comparing the Adidas Solar Boost 19 with its stability counterpart, the Adidas Solar Boost 19 ST. <laughs> Let's dive right in. So um, as you can see, this shoe is quite dirty. Um, so I apologize for that, but that's because uh, I run test a number of shoes and so far, um, don't tell anybody else, but this has been one of my favorites to run in. This is the Adidas Solar Boost 19, um, the neutral version. And um, what I'm really enjoying about this shoe is that it's really lightweight. It's taken me through about 20 miles so far and it's um, a very comfortable shoe too. So we'll dive in first to uh, the specs of the shoe and then we'll look at the performance of the shoe for both the 19 and also the ST. So uh, let's start with the shoe. So um, tech wise, this is a really interesting shoe because it is built using NASA technology. So this is, uh, it's based on what's called Aramis technology, which is also used for BMW and Boeing. And what they do is they look at the uh, motion of the foot through this technology so that they can build a shoe for you, Adidas can, that actually um, works to your foot's benefit and your gait's benefit to allow for a more natural and comfortable run. So that's really exciting. You can say your shoes are NASA inspired. Um, the other elements of this shoe that you'll really enjoy is obviously there is that boost cushioning in place. You'll see it right here. Take a close look. And those of you who aren't familiar with boost cushioning, so these are thousands of um, boost pellets that Adidas puts together. And what they do is they allow for responsiveness on your run. So you get a nice bouncy responsive feel from this cushioning here. Um, a lot of people are also saying that with this shoe, they also find that there's a good amount of medial support. And you'll see even more support in the ST version of it, but um, this shoe, a lot of people are saying that they are enjoying that support. And I felt that support on my runs too. Uh, my feet felt very comfortable in this shoe. The other part of the shoe that uh, people are finding quite comfortable is up here you'll see, you know, you can't really feel it, but um, this is really comfortable material. So the material here is really cushy, um, but not too gushy. You don't feel like you're, you know, just um, being too enveloped. It's not too snug, but it is really comfortable material here in the upper. And then um, the upper here is a really stylish, nice, breathable upper. So you'll see that you won't really find um, that the shoe feels hot or heavy, which is a really nice element of it too. So again, um, specifically the, or the spec aspects of the shoe um, that you'll find enjoyable, the boost cushioning, also the medial support. Um, and then there's also the solar propulsion rail. And what that does is it works with the boost cushioning to propel you forward in a really comfortable manner. So um, let's take a quick look at the ST and then we'll talk further about the performance of these shoes. So for those of you who are stability runners and you're interested in trying out the Solar Boost 19, lucky for you, there is a stability version of the shoe. I spent a little less time in this shoe, as you can tell it's um, pretty clean. And um, that's because I do prefer a, a neutral shoe. But what I did find is that the medial support, you'll find even more of that in this shoe. Um, and then you will also notice too that uh, the, the medial support is emphasized because here you'll see um, the difference here you'll see it says energized stability I don't know if you can see that there but the boost cushioning is more densely packed so take a look at the boost here so you see the boost pellets here they are more densely packed than the boost pellets on the neutral solar boost 19 and what that does is it provides your foot with more support and also that medial support that you need if you are a stability runner the shoe is still pretty light um, this one comes in about nine ounces for women and 11 ounces for men um, and this shoe is comparably pretty light too so you'll get everything that you get from the solar boost 19 but you will get that extra bit of support that you need so that when you're landing um, and and moving along throughout your run you'll get that stability which is really nice and it's pretty cool because these boost units um, it's not just a fashion thing like it is actually these pellets in there that are coming more closely together and making the shoe more stable for you which is really interesting right or at least I think so um, so anyway those are the main differences between the solar boost 19 this very very dirty pair my apologies but look how cute even when it's dirty it's a pretty cute shoe so I'm gonna get myself another version of these that I can just walk around in and not get messy 
um, and then also the ST version. So now let's dive into the performance of these shoes. I talked about it a little bit, but um, to highlight the performance specifically of this shoe, and then I'll talk about the stability version too, is um, my foot felt very, very comfortable in these. I've taken these on hillier runs, shorter, faster runs, and on longer runs. As I mentioned, I've put about 20 miles in these shoes so far in the course of um, a couple of weeks between testing other shoes as well. And um, what I liked about this shoe is right off the bat, I felt like it was a really comfortable fit. I really enjoyed the way that my foot felt in this shoe. Again, kind of moving this around so you can get a feel for it as much as you can without actually putting your foot in the shoe. And um, it felt really comfortable. The upper was really comfortable, very breathable. I didn't feel like my foot was too firmly in there, but I also felt like it was snug enough. If you've watched any of my other reviews, you know I like to complain about heel slippage because I feel like it happens a lot for me. And with this shoe, I felt like my heel was firmly in place. I wasn't trying to do like a heel lock lacing or awkwardly tying it in the middle of a run. So um, the upper, good fit, strong snug fit there. The boost cushioning, I loved. So um, I'm a mama, I do stroller runs um, and I find that, you know, with the wrong shoe, my feet do get a little bit sore or tired, but I really felt um, not only the propulsion from the boost cushioning, but my feet felt really, really good after the run as well. So. Um, I really enjoyed it. And these shoes for me, they felt pretty fast. Like I felt pretty fast in these shoes and I felt like um, I felt like I had the support and the cushioning for a longer run, but I also had the, um, the kind of speed that I wanted to when running. Uh, this shoe, this one definitely felt a little bit different. It's got that stability element. Um, so I noticed that, you know, it's going to be just a little bit stiffer here. I can't really, we'll see like ever so slightly, right? Um, but I did feel like my shoe was a little bit, my foot was a little bit more supported in this shoe. Um, so I, while I didn't notice like a huge difference, um, my preference was definitely the neutral one, but if you are a stability runner and you're looking for that extra medial support and just like um, support in general, you probably will like that this has the uh, energized stability boost version. Again, that's the densely packed one. So, there you go. Um, I love this shoe. It is, uh, don't know if I'm allowed to say this in a run test review, but right now this is my favorite shoe to run in. Um, so there you have it. And uh, this is the Adidas Solar Boost 19. This is the Adidas Solar Boost 19 ST, the stability version of the shoe. And remember, if you are a VIP Roadrunner Sports member, you can test either one of these for 90 days and um, figure out which one works for you. Exchange it if you don't like it. So that's a VIP member at Roadrunner Sports and I will see you guys later. Bye.